when you look at your buddy Mad Dog, you mentioned him, yes. and, you, and you work with him. Yeah. Do you go crazy when you look at a guy's career like that? And when you saw the animosity between him and Mike Francesa, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a sports guy, but I'm a broadcaster. Right. And when two guys mesh like that and they have a number one show, why the fuck can't they just get along? What what um, is the what is that? I don't I mean, think like that. I don't think like that. What happened is this, Howard. You've been working together for years. Look at what I don't know what the divorce rate it is in this country, but I'm sure it's over fifty percent. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you got people who are married <laughs> yeah. and, and, and getting and getting and getting down between the sheets with each other. That all of a sudden say, "I don't love you no more. I don't want you no more." I mean, damn, right. how you gonna do that and then and then be surprised that two people who are arguing with each other for a living every day ultimately get tired of one another after 19 years? But I will tell you this: my respect for both is profound. Right. Um, they are pioneers in this business. And when I brought Mad Dog on my show, First Take, the bosses didn't think they could get him. I picked up the phone and called them. And in two seconds, he was like, I'm there for you. Because uh, I love the guy. And I said, this guy and Mike Francesa started Sports Talk Radio. They made Sports Talk Radio what it is. And guess what else I'm going to do, Howard? I'm going to bring them both in soon for an appearance on First Take on ESPN oh. together. Oh, together. that's great. 